Okay, here's a good old geometry question. We have a circle. You definitely expect to see a circle when you take the new GRE. And what do we have here? We have a triangle, but we have more than just a triangle. We have an equilateral triangle. Now, how do I know this? Well, these two lines right here are the radii. So this line, we'll call this here, I'm going to write these guys in. So that is OA is equal to OB. That's going to be very helpful because if we have equal sides, then they're opposite angles. That is this angle right here is opposite OB. This angle right here, angle ABO, is opposite OA. Those two angles are opposite. How much room do we have left? Meaning a triangle is 180 degrees. We already have 60 degrees here. That is, we have 120 degrees left to be split into amongst the two remaining angles. And therefore, they're both equal to 60. So there's our equilateral triangle. So what's going on in this problem specifically in terms of information? Well, we know the perimeter of the triangle is equal to 6. That's great. Why is that great? Well, because each side is equal to 2, and that's probably going to help us out here in a minute. Let's see what quantity A is asking for. It's asking for the circumference. Well, we can answer the circumference because we know it's twice the radius, which is equal to 2. And again, we know that because for a triangle is equal to 6, three sides, the radius is equal to 2. And of course, Whenever we take the circumference, we always want to throw that magical symbol known as pi. What's the radius? It's equal, it's equal to 2. 2 times 2 is 4, so there's our circumference. Then in, in column B, we have the answer 12. So we're almost there. Basically, they're asking which is greater, 4 pi or 12, and we know that pi is equal to 3.14. And really, anything here is superfluous because 4 times 3 point anything that's greater than 0 has to be greater than 12. So this may be 12.567. Who cares? It's greater than 12. You don't have to solve it. Therefore, the answer is A.